There are numerous roads that wind their way across the North York Moors, just to the south of the town of Middlesbrough, most of which are a bit too tight and a bit too narrow to truly enjoy driving on. But there is one road that heads north-south across the moors that is just about as good as it gets, and it's known locally as the Blakey Road. I absolutely love this road. I've been driving on it for the last 20 or so years, and the first car I drove over the Blakey Ridge Road was the Cosworth, the Escort Cosworth, and it completely blew my mind. And I'm actually prepared to put my neck out and say that I reckon this is the best road in the United Kingdom to drive a car like this, the new Focus RS. The famous Blakey Road links the A170 to the south of the moors and the A171 Coast Road to the north that joins Middlesbrough and Whitby. It exists today mainly because back in the 1860s, there were various iron ore mines right at the top of the moors, one of which was at Blakey Junction. To get the iron off the moors, a railway line was built in 1861, with the village of Hutton La Hole being used as a holding point at the bottom of the moors for what had been mined. And essentially that's where the road starts today, at the top of the picturesque village of Hutton La Hole. It then winds its way up and over the moors, past Blakey Ridge itself, and the famous line in pub, and eventually to the village of Castleton before it meets the A171 near Morshall. It gets pretty wintry up here, not necessarily only in the winter either. You know, you're right at the top of the North York Moors. There's an imposing sense of significance that you become aware of when you're driving up on these moors. You get the impression that they've been here for a very long time indeed and that they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. And the way the road spirals constantly into the distance, flowing gently this way and that, over crests that are sometimes blind and sometimes a fair bit steeper than you think, it really is just a very special place in which to find yourself, in any car, but especially one like this. But if you own a car like the Focus RS and are prepared to drive it all the way to North Yorkshire to get the most out of it, you might also want to take it to a track. And given that Yorkshire's finest circuit at Croft sits just a few miles away from the moors themselves, well, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? The circuit at Croft was designed in part by none other than Jim Clark himself. And although it's not perhaps the most accessible racetrack in the UK, in terms of layout, it's one of the best. With a combination of fast, undulating straights, two or three scarily quick corners through trees that look and feel strangely similar to the Nürburgring, some slower off-camber corners midway around the lap, plus a tight and technical section towards the end. Croft really is a belter of a circuit and it suits the Focus RS to a T. And in places, specifically through the Jim Clark it is not for the faint hearted. But in the right kind of car, it's a peach. So this is what happens when a Focus RS meets one of the best circuits and possibly the best driving road in the United Kingdom. As we said at the beginning, on four wheels at least, the North York Moors are just about as good as it gets. <laughs>